Hi, my name is Robert Smith, and I'm a pediatric resident at the University of Florida. I'm talking to you today about how to approach a physical exam in a pediatric patient. Pediatricians see patients of all age groups, and each age group can present with its own set of challenges when it comes to the physical exam. We see patients in the newborn period, which is right after birth, during their growth and development during their toddler years. During their early school days, and into adolescence and young adulthood when they're really growing and developing into who they will be for the rest of their lives. Pediatricians use a variety of in instruments to do the physical exam, including the stethoscope, the more intimidating otoscope, and the ever frightening tongue depressor, which does have to be used every once in a while. Pediatricians use a variety of techniques to make the physical exam as not frightening as possible. The most important of which is taking what the patient gives you. If they're laying on their mom's chest, listening to their back when it's exposed, or if they're laying on their back, listening to their heart and belly first, reduces the stress, and if at all possible, try to do everything before you actually wake the patient. You can try different techniques, including demonstrating what you'll be doing to them on a doll or a stuffed animal they might have brought into the, into the clinic visit with them. This reduces the stress about actually doing the techniques on the patient. You can also give the instruments to the patient to let them play with. Sometimes this reminds the patient that these tools aren't going to cause them any harm, and it will make it a little easier for you to, to do the techniques on the patients during the exam. You can also try to use different toys, such as this wind fan, which can help the doctor to test out how well a patient can blow, which can be important in respiratory illnesses. It's important to remember that pediatric patients aren't just young adults. They're their own patients, and they have their own needs and difficulties that present with them.